What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about a new feature in FL Studio 8 called the Audio Logger. Now the Audio Logger to me is a great new feature. What it does is it allows you to record yourself using outboard gear. For example, if you're a DJ and you wanted to do some scratching over a beat, you could hook up your turntables and record yourself doing the scratches. And if you mess up, you don't worry about it. You just wait and keep going. You know, you wait for the loop to come around and you try again. And that goes for any kind of outboard gear. It could be a, a guitar. It could be a vocals. You know, you could be singing a chorus or a verse or rapping or whatever. And if you mess up, don't worry about it. You just keep going and re-record it. You know, just do multiple takes. And, uh, in, in my demo today, I'm just going to record myself playing an old Casio keyboard. Uh, I didn't want to sing because I didn't want to torture you guys. But I have an old Casio. It's one of those cheap ones that, you know, you can get for like a hundred bucks somewhere. And you can hear that sound. It's got really cheesy sound to it. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I just need to uh, give you guys the demo so you can see how to work this magic that I'm about to show you. Um, in the future, maybe it's a motif or a phantom. You know, you, you want to hook that up to your FL Studio and get use of those cool sounds. Well, you know, this is one way of doing that. Very easy, too. You're going you're gonna to like this method. Okay, so the, there's a couple of things we need to do to prepare. Uh, the first thing is we want to make sure we're getting some kind of input from our audio source. Now, you can see the level meters here jumping up and down on the screen in concert with my voice. So obviously what I've done is I've selected the in for this channel to my line in and my mic. Okay, so that I know I'm getting some kind of input. If I play my Casio, I can also see the sound coming in. So I know everything's ready to go. Now in your case, your sound card may have different settings or you may have to access your Windows sound mixer and get everything right. Now, I do have a tutorial on the Windows sound mixer. So if you're not seeing any level meters jumping up and down when you play something on your outboard gear and you know you've selected the appropriate input here. See, for me, I know that's line in, mic uh, in. So I'm, I'm good to go. If you don't see these bars jumping up and down, it may be a problem with your Windows sound mixer, which is different than this mixer in FL Studio. Like I said, I've got a tutorial on Warbeats. Uh, it's probably on YouTube, so if you see it, I mean, if you search for it, Windows sound mixer um, and Warbeats, always add Warbeats to your search uh, to make sure you find the, the correct one. But you, you'll find that one, and it'll help you get that set up. But once you have your input all set up like I do, um, all we need to do is then go to your playlist and we're going to select the part of the song that I want to loop. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to hold down control and then up here where you see the bar numbers, I'm going to drag across where I want it to loop. So I've selected there about four bars and that's just right now it's just a, a bass line and a drum. And I'm just going to play it so you hear what it sounds like. Okay, so that's all it is. And I want to add my Casio piano to that. Okay, remember, it's my Casio piano. It's not a VST plug-in I'm playing. It's outboard gear. Uh, you can pretend it's a motif if you want. Uh, but anyway... Um, so I'm almost completely ready to go, right? I've got my input, I've got my looping point, and now all I need to do is go to my mixer channel, right-click on it, and select Open Audio Logger. Or I could have also d just done a Shift plus the letter E, or the key E, and it would have brought up my Edison. And Edison is all ready to go. It's set to record on play. And what that means is I need to click play up here on my transport bar. You do not want to select record up here. 
You just want to hit play because you want your song to play. Edison will take care of the recording and it's ready to record. Make sure your Edison is selected. Mine wasn't selected, but now it is. When I go in here now, to also verify, you can see Edison is getting the input signal here as well. So we're all ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. It's going to start playing, and every time it loops through this section, Edison's going to continue to record, but it's going to put a little marker at the beginning of each loop for me. So what I'm going to do is when I hit play, I'm going to move over to my keyboard and try playing uh, a part or two, and I probably mess up on purpose, uh, right? Yeah, that's it. I'll mess up on purpose, and then uh, when we're done, we're going to come back and look at how the audio logger works to help you select your best take. So let's go ahead and get started with the recording. Okay. Okay, let me just stop everything. And you can see Edison is actually continuing to play. So let me let me just stop it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on one of these sections here. But you can see how it's recorded a section of equal size of this. So every every one of these song jump sections that you see, that's the beginning of my loop and it's just recorded me. And when I hit play, you can hear that it plays that section for me in time with my song. And that's how I find the best take. I can use my arrow keys left and right to go through each section while the song is playing. And I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to look for the best section. Okay, so I think this highlighted section is my best take. Now, maybe it's not the greatest uh, melody or whatever, but that's my best take. So now what I want to do is add that to my playlist. I'm going to just drag this down a little bit so we can see what it's going to do. Now, I could just drag it using this here. See, drag it over and, and drop it on there. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Okay, but an easier way is just to hit Shift-C when you're in Edison. And it'll take that highlighted section and drop it in exactly in the recording section, which we just saw right there. And it'll give it a name. You can you can rename it obviously if you want to, but you can see how it's dropped it in perfectly there. And uh, 
Now we're done with this Edison. Now if I wanted to, if I was recording vocals, I could probably just add this other part here, you know, to double or whatever. I mean, you, you can still use Edison in its normal functions. Uh, but all I wanted to do was get that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out Edison from my from my line in so it doesn't play back anymore. And now when I hit play, we're going to hear my recorded part. dragged in there and it's playing. And there you have it. That's the FL Studio 8 audio logger. You can see how useful it is and uh, it should open doors for um, you to record your outboard gear a lot more. I know that I resist outboard gear a lot of times because my playing isn't the greatest and uh, with MIDI, I can always correct my notes, with, you know, click and drag and, and whatever, uh, and use my quantize. With outboard gear, it's not as forgiving, but using this new feature, you can sure go a lot farther, uh, even if you're not a great player, like I am not a great player. Uh, but that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoy it and use it. I hope you guys buy FL Studio 8 and get a lot of the other great features that are in there. And I'll probably have tutorials coming up on some of those other things in the near future. Enough of the commercial. I really am not here to sell you on that. But I wanted to show you this great new feature. And uh, hopefully you'll use it. Come check out the site, warbeats.com. And this is NFX saying I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.